Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paw. I've had a lot of subscribers ask how I film and edit my YouTube videos. In fact, here's a list of some of them. MXP WBP, Serial 929, Fillmore Video, Carl Louis Peterson, Jacqueline S, and Punkin Nonstop. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how I make my YouTube videos. The first thing that I do is figure out what my video is going to be about. For an example, let's use this. Like many things I show on YouTube, I've had this a very long time, but I don't know much about it. It says Ilco on the bottom, so I'll start there. I Google Ilco Big Bird Bath Toy. Here it is. It's on the Muppet Wiki. Apparently, Ilco made a whole series of these toys between 1988 and 1992. Then Tyco acquired the company in 1993. So now, I'm ready to film. This is the room that I film my videos in. It has a couple windows facing the sun, so it's brighter than most of the rooms in the house. I use this TV screen as a monitor. I started making new vlogs in 2012, and then I was using this camera. It's a CCD TR33 Sony Handycam, Video 8 format. I got this camera in the late 90s. By 2012, it wasn't working very well. In 2013, I started using this. It's another Sony Handycam, a CCD TR83. It was an upgrade, and I used it until September of 2014. That's when the sound quit working. So I borrowed this camera off my dad. This is the one I use now. It's another Sony Handycam, a CCD TRV12. Even though it's the best camera that I have, meaning it has the best aperture at lens, it still has the same problem as the other cameras. The recorder inside is broken, so I can't put the video 8 tape in to record on. I had to figure out an alternative to recording on a tape inside the camera, so that's where VHS comes in. I take the audio and video out of the camcorder and run it into the back of a VCR. Now, whatever I record with the camera is being recorded onto VHS tape through the VCR. I have this space heater, and I use the top of it to show close-ups of the stuff that I'm talking about. Then, after I film my footage, I take it downstairs and I edit it. I use this silver box called an Advanced DV Converter to turn the analog signal into a digital one. It's made by Canopus, and it's a model ADVC55. You can't buy this anymore, but it was about $100, and it's still one of the best Christmas presents that I've ever gotten. On one side, you plug in your audio and video cables, or S-Video. Then you plug those into your VCR. The other end has a firewire connection that you plug into your computer. The other thing that you need is video capturing software. I use iMovie version 5 on a 2005 iBook. I have iMovie version 9 on my 2009 MacBook, but it's a lot different and I haven't really sorted out how it works yet. So now I just play the VHS tape and capture the footage that I filmed. Now I drag the pieces into the timeline and edit them down to size. When I cut to a close-up, I remove the video of me speaking to the camera and attach the new video to the audio clip. The last thing that I do is adjust the volume. Now this is the part that I had the most trouble with, making my edited video into a file that I could upload to YouTube. After many failed attempts, I finally saw a tutorial on YouTube that showed me which settings to use in iMovie to render the video in the right file that would work best for YouTube. Okay, let's watch that clip I made. Roll em. This Sesame Street bath toy was made by the company Ilco. Apparently, Ilco made a whole series of these toys between 1988 and 1992, and then Tyco acquired the company in 1993. I hope that you enjoyed the look at how I make my YouTube videos. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more. Thanks, YouTube.